Prince Harry is giving evidence at London's High Court on Tuesday in his lawsuit against a tabloid publisher whose titles he accuses of phone hacking and other unlawful activities. Harry, wearing a navy suit and dark purple tie, entered the witness box and swore an oath to tell the truth on the Bible beneath his father the Sovereign's coat of arms. The Duke, dressed in a white shirt, purple tie, and navy blue suit, arrived in a black Range Rover at the Royal Courts of Justice's modern wing the Rolls Building. He stepped into the court 15 witness box at 10.28 a.m. While the paparazzi were trying to capture every expression on Harry's face, crowds of people protesting Harry's hack gathered there and booed him. Someone even just told him that Evan urged him to go back to California, don't bring trouble to the king in this peaceful country. People are treating Prince Harry in a way that makes it clear that he is absolutely obnoxious, he's only here to add to the trouble. He should wear a sandwich board that says, I'm not Harry, just for his own safety and security. Faced with the very real prospect of being booed by the UK public at the court ceremony, Harry must have been very frustrated and felt the case was going to go badly. He will know that he is paying the price for his actions against the king and betraying the queen, so he has to receive the retribution of being shunned by everyone today. Back to Harry's case. The prince had failed to show up as expected on Monday for the trial where he and more than 100 others are suing Mirror Group newspapers, MGN, Dash the publisher of the Daily Mirror, Sunday Mirror and Sunday People, over allegations of widespread wrongdoing between 1991 and 2011. However, the younger son of King Charles will on Tuesday and Wednesday face hours of cross-examination in the witness box from Andrew Green, MGN's lawyer. Over 33 newspaper articles he says were based on information which had been unlawfully obtained. It makes him the first senior British royal to give evidence for 130 years. The prince swore on the Bible and, before his cross-examination began, confirmed that he should be addressed as Your Royal Highness in the first instance and that his personal preference was to be called Prince Harry afterwards. He was asked if he recalled reading any of the articles that formed part of his lawsuit at the time to which the prince said he could not specifically recall reading the articles at the time they were published. Mr. Green said, if you do not recall seeing it at the time of publication, how and when did they cause you distress? The prince added, the vast majority of, the articles, were read by other people within my circle, their behavior inevitably changed around me and I was told about some of the articles. Finding out about unlawful methods of how the information in these articles was obtained certainly shocked me. I have experienced hostility from the press since I was born, the prince said in court. Asked if he felt hostility to the press, he said, yes, that's correct. The MGN trial began last month, with lawyers for the prince and the other claimants seeking to prove that unlawful information gathering was carried out with the knowledge and approval of senior editors and executives. The prince is one of four test cases, and his specific allegations form the focus of the first three days of this week. However, he did not appear on Monday, having only left the United States, where he now lives with his wife Meghan, the previous evening as it was his daughter Lilibet's birthday on Sunday. The judge, Timothy Fancourt, said he was surprised at his absence. In his memoir, Netflix documentary series and other TV interviews, the prince has repeatedly accused his family and their aides of colluding with tabloids to enhance their reputations at his expense.